are many psychological tools that we can use to help improve the conditions of the mind. One of those tools is a technique called reframing. So we use this technique when the way in which we're looking at something is resulting in an adverse experience. And by being more creative with our choice of words, we can choose to see the situation before us in a way that is not resulting in a negative experience. However, there are times where reframing can also be a form of bypass. So this to me is this fixation with adopting a positive mindset as like a default technique to resolve any situation that's uncomfortable. I personally am a fan of this uh, positive mindset um, approach because I know how much this practice has helped me to look at things in a different way and to see a higher perspective. That being said, there are some cases where reframing is not really authentic. Let's say you are in your car and you've been driving around looking for a car park for a long period of time and you're noticing you're starting to get frustrated, you have an appointment and you're starting to feel anxious that you're going to be late and you really want to get a car park. And you see a car park up ahead and you get really excited and then suddenly someone swoops in and takes the car park. So if I were to apply this technique of reframing in this situation, I may tell myself, well, this person may have needed the car park more than I did, or this person might be picking up their dying father from the hospital or make up some story that helps to lessen my uh, experience of frustration and disappointment. And yet the more I convince myself of this made up story that I'm telling myself to make myself feel better, the more I'm taking myself out of my authentic experience, which is I feel frustrated, I feel disappointed, I feel anxious. This is what's real and alive for me in this particular moment in time. So in this case, we can see how reframing is actually a bypass and a different approach or a, an approach that is more um, welcoming of your experience is to acknowledge what really is happening for you and to make space for that experience to be seen and validated and welcomed. And this practice is about accepting you as you are, accepting the reality of what's present. So when you miss that park, you can say to yourself, I really wanted that park. I'm noticing that I'm feeling really disappointed that I didn't get that park. And just by affirming what's real, and you're not saying any statements that are crazy here. You're not making up a story. You're saying what's real, what's true. And that is actually the medicine in this situation. It doesn't mean that you have to like the reality of your situation, but the goal isn't to get into a desired state of being happy. And this is a one of like the misguided goals of spirituality is that we're constantly looking to be in a happy state of mind. The way I understand it is that being in a content state of mind is the byproduct and the natural consequence of honoring your experience, honoring the truth of your experience and being okay 
with whatever is arising for you in that moment. And so next time you feel frustration, you're already in a practice of acknowledging that frustration. And the frustration doesn't get squashed down or pushed aside or overlaid with a story that um, covers up the truth of your experience. So let me know, what is the value of reframing a situation? And when does reframing take us away from our authentic truth? <laughs>